Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome back to another Indie Game Sunday video. And today we're going to be checking out Fate Hunters. Now, this key was sent to me by the developers Tower Games. And I decided, hey man, let's try it out, see how it is. Hopefully I don't get addicted to another <laughs> deck building game. So yeah, this is basically like a hardcore deck builder roguelike game. I think I've played something similar to this. If their game is, was on Itch.io, I think I have played it, but I never uploaded it. Okay, I can't go back here for some reason. I'm actually stuck on this page. I cannot click anywhere anymore. Okay. Oh, I think the game froze. Yeah, the game is definitely frozen. Okay, well then, not going off to a good start for me. Be right back. All right, we're back. Let's just go ahead and start and not go through those pictures anymore. <laughs> so it seems like we started with a card, um, deal one damage to creatures. There's two damage to creatures, but draw. Seems like we got supplies too. This belt. Look at the top two cards of your draw pile. Draw one, put the other on the top pile again. Okay. Critical damage. Do two damage to. Okay. This is a heal. So this card immediately removes after. So that's a one use thing. So I'm guessing we get our own gear too as we go. Your character gains experience once they're killing the monster. Okay, cool. Pretty much like any deck building game. Oh wow. The techs don't really have an impact from what I see. So this monster regens. I have to take this. Oh, so my whole hand discards. That's not good. Next room. Oh wow, you just gonna go first like that, Hound? Get out of here. Okay, so now I'm level two. And now I get to pick a card. Oh. Okay, so reduce the damage of all monsters by one. Oh, by all non boss creatures by one. If you restore four or more. This turn, you okay? So if you heal, it does eight damage instead. That sounds pretty good. Oh, there's a crit. That three damage, Jesus Christ. Okay, so yeah, hitting enemies adjacent is going to be really nice. Oh, especially for this situation right here. So that one. Then we'll be able to kill another one. Lose 2 HP but gain a shield. Do damage to a creature if you restore more 
With HP, the next turn you'll be able to do double damage. Okay. So we can gain XP or gain a stun with all creatures. We're going to skip that for now. Let's make it a little bit harder on ourselves and not take potions like that. It's always fun to make it difficult. Three damage. Did not get the crit, but we can still finish. God damn it, they really want me to take these. Fine, I'll take one. Jeez. I can take both. Oh. What? Okay, we're flex, but alright. Oh no, goop. Pretty easy. Now I get to choose my next card. Alright, apparently I take both of those. And this one. Banish a non boss monster. You lose HP equal to the monster's attack. Oh, so that can potentially kill you. Do I have two doors? Normal or hard? Now let's go hard. What's what could else you go wrong, you know? Oh, these guys have shields. That's what could go wrong. So they block the first attack basically. Nice, very nice. And he is dead. Treasure. If you finish it oh, if you finish dungeon with this card, you get X amount of gold. Okay. Throwing axe, deal three damage to an, a random monster. Put this card back on your top deck instead of your discard. That could be good. But to be honest, I want to try and take more to. Oh, we take all of them. I don't know why I keep trying to pick between when this is the one you're supposed to pick, picking between. Now. Or also one time use though. I got 4 HP though. So we got Fate 
points to choose a card. Let's try this. It'll do damage to your hero, though. Okay, so deal damage, well, deal two damage to all non boss monsters with three or okay. Deal X amount of damage to a creature where the number of heroic cards in your deck. Eh, I feel like that one could be fun. Yeah, let's go. Let's raise it a little bit more. Gotta take them risks. Alright, kill that. Well, you can't draw. Oh, I guess that card I used kept me from drawing. Okay, so it has to be like actual like kill amount. It can't just be like one. There we go. <laughs> I gotta figure that that strat would actually work out. Let's get rid of the shields. Okay, I got heals here. Let's see, let's see. Deal damage to a monster. Discard two cards from your draw pal. Additional two. Okay, nah, I want to take this. So, Guardian, what are you going to do now? Two damage? So far, so good. I excuse me. Cursed Blade deals six damage to an enemy, but adds a curse card to your disc. I'm good. <laughs> I am good. I apparently, I have two of those bells. Can't summon afterwards, so boom, boom. I mean, so far, so good. Let's go to a mystery room. Oh, zombies, huh? Dude, I was hoping you would do way more damage than that. So technically I was taking six damage out of this. Oh wow, no way more now. Ah, I was hoping it would crit on one of these guys.
That's what I get for taking a risk. 1 HP dream, dude. Oh god, a mimic? No, oh, that's not good. So I see what happens. Your treasure gets mixed in with your whole deck. Which causes more chaos for you than you need. Interesting. So you have to end the stage. If you die, then you basically lose out on all of your loot. That's kind of brutal when you think about it. So that's why the hardcore part comes in? When you think about it, that's like really damn brutal. Jeez, yo, basically, if you lose, you don't get anything out of it. You don't get any progress at all. Jeez. I need to... Well, I learned that you can't always put your fate into crit. <laughs> I should know that from all the MMOs I played. You never trust crit. Alright, one more run. We got an orc this time. Level 2 already. Let's see. Do 6 damage to a creature. You have no cards in your hand. I guess why not? Alright, next. I don't think you level up any of your cards, too. Oh, so I have to actually have no more cards in my hand. That's going to be hard to do then. Considering there will be some items you want to keep. Okay, thank you for those. God damn it, you would give me a potion. Oh, somebody came into battle. What? So enemies can come back into battle. Noted. That's something I don't want, is random enemies just be like, Oh, dude, maybe I should join this fight. Work warrior, huh? Endurance. Can't be stunned. Attack cannot be reduced. Discard one card. I mean, that was the most simple task I could do. <laughs> Draw less than one card next turn. Last word. Draw three cards. That could actually be good for the floor that I had. Yeah, critical attacks could hurt more than what that guy can do. Is that a one time use? Okay, now.
Next. There's no more loot in this room. Well, shit. Let's go to the Harkman again. I won't lie. I like. I kind of like the art style a little bit. I say, I would love my heels. Draw a card and discard one. That could actually be pretty useful if I don't want these like treasure in my hand. No, we're risking it all. Let's go hard. So this one regens too. in case they crit. Destroy TH. Ah, I don't know about those curses. Well, actually, we might as well should have took should have took those just to figure out what the curses are. Oh God! If it is, must take damage to shields. Shit, that's basically useless now. Wow, just for the fun of it. Well, that is basically Fate Hunter. Hardcore indeed. Jeez. Man, this game is pretty damn difficult. Especially when starting off. It's, it has pretty positive reviews, but right now it's getting mixes as it's recent. I guess because people really don't like the idea of not earning anything once you die. I guess that's what they're kind of going on about. Because we're so used to, like, getting something to progress further in a game off a of roguelike. That, that's basically what they're probably getting angry about. But this one, you have, like, sort of a risk-reward type of thing. If you risk it, you could get it rewarded or you could suffer. So, yeah. It is definitely different from most roguelikes that everybody would be used to, which is why you would have to definitely adapt more to the more, hey, I should probably stop and not get too greedy and help myself progress through the first floor. So once you're progressing through the first floor, you get to the end, you gotta, you gotta stop, you know? Save up that gold get better characters, get better, you know, stuff, then you start going to the higher ones, taking more risks, taking more, like, rewards out of that. So, yeah, that's that's what I see out of this. But overall, pretty decent, pretty good, and that's all I gotta say for now. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose.